Hello friends, in the previous videos we have solved 1D steady state heat conduction problems in Cartesian coordinates with and without heat generation terms using finite difference method. In this particular video we are going to solve a 1D transient heat conduction problem in Cartesian coordinates using finite difference method. Our objectives are to present a simple 1D transient heat conduction problem. We discretize the domain into say five grid spacings. We consider a single time sp step and solve the problem using finite difference method. We will then vary the grid spacings and time steps and obtain solutions using um, a software such as MATLAB. Here we have a one meter long copper bar. One end of the bar is kept at 100 degrees Celsius for all times. And the other end of the bar is also kept at 100 degrees Celsius for all times. The initial temperature of the bar is kept at zero degrees C. Alpha is the thermal diffusivity of the material and is given as one E negative four meter square per second. Going back to the general heat conduction equation in 3D Cartesian coordinates, we have dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square plus g over k equals 1 over alpha dou t by dou t. Here uppercase t is the temperature and is a function of spatial coordinates x, y, z and time t. Alpha is the material property called thermal diffusivity and is given in meter square per second. Alpha equals k over rho c, where k is the thermal conductivity of the material in watts per meter kelvin. Rho is the density of the material in kilograms per meter cube. C is the specific heat capacity of the material in joules per kilogram kelvin. And G is the volumetric rate of internal heat generation in watts per meter cube. We have the following assumptions on the material thermal conductivity. The thermal conductivity along each of the directions Kx, Ky and Kz are considered uniform and hence are homogeneous. Also Kx equals Ky equals Kz equals K. And this means the thermal conductivity does not vary with the direction. So we comply with the isotropic condition. For 1D transient heat conduction with no heat generation, equation 1 reduces to a simpler form. We assume temperature does not vary along y and z directions when compared with the x direction. Since there is no heat generation term involved, g equals 0. Accordingly, we get dou square t by dou x square equals 1 over alpha dou t by dou t. T is a function of x and time, lowercase t. We'll rearrange the equation as dou t over dou t equals alpha times dou square t by dou x square. The initial condition is given as t at x, comma t equals 0 equals t in. The boundary conditions are given as t at x equals 0 at any time t equals t n1 and t at x equals l at any time t equals t n2 and t is greater than or equal to 0. To obtain t we need to solve the above PDE which is the partial differential equation. We will utilize finite difference method to solve the above PDE. To do so we need to replace the partial derivatives with finite difference approximations. We replace the time derivative with first order forward difference and the space derivative with center difference approximations. Accordingly, we get Ti n plus 1 minus Ti n over delta t equals alpha times Ti minus 1 n minus 2 times Ti n plus Ti plus 1 n 
by delta x square. Rearranging, we get ti n plus 1 equals ti n plus alpha times delta t by delta x square times ti minus 1 n minus 2 times ti n plus ti plus 1 n. Here, t equals alpha times delta t by delta x square and d is called the diffusion number. So we can rewrite the equation as ti n plus 1 equals ti n plus d times ti minus 1 n minus 2 times ti n plus ti plus 1 n. Here i represents the spatial location and n represents the time step. Equation 5 is the final difference approximation of the original equation which we are trying to solve. The finest difference tensile is given below. So, in this particular case, we typically know I minus 1 N, the temperature at this location and time, and the temperature at I comma N, and the temperature at I plus 1 comma N. And we are interested in finding out the temperature at T at I comma N plus 1. The above approximation is called forward time center space or FTCS method. This is an explicit method. Hence temperatures Ti's at future times n plus 1 can be directly obtained based on Ti's at present times as shown in equation 5. Explicit methods are conditionally stable. The stability criteria is given as D is lesser than or equal to 0 0.5 for 1D diffusion problems. Also, D needs to be smaller based on the accuracy desired. The error in this method is of, of the order of delta T plus order of delta X square. Now, let us discretize the 1D domain into M say 5 segments grid spacings or grid spacings equally spaced as shown below from 1 to 6. Note that temperatures at node 1 and node 6 are known and these are the boundary conditions. To apply equation 5, we need to consider the interior nodes from 2 to 5. Let i equals 2 and n equals 0. Equation or previous equation becomes t2 1 equals t20 plus d times t10 minus 2 times t20 plus t30. Similarly, for i equals 3, 4, 5 and n equals 0, we get t31 equals t30 plus d times t20 minus 2 times t30 plus t40 and so on. Here, ti n T6n are the boundary conditions for all times and Ti0 is the initial condition for all nodes. Let delta T equals 100 seconds and delta X equals L over M in this case 1 meter by 5 segments equals 0 0.2 meters. Then D equals alpha times delta T by delta X square and we get a value of 0 0.25 for D, which is lesser than 0 0.5. So we meet the stability criteria. Let's substitute the values of D and the initial conditions and the boundary conditions into the above equations. We can then solve for the next temperature step for all these interior nodes. So, for example, at T2, at the next time step, equals 25 degrees Celsius. T3, at the next time step, is 0 degrees Celsius. T4, at the next time step, is also 0 degrees Celsius. T5, at the next time step, is 25 degrees Celsius. We follow the same procedure, and we can find temperatures at these interior nodes. At the next time step, by choosing n equals 1 and so on. 
we have presented graphical results in MATLAB for this case. And we can, um, using MATLAB or other software, we can develop codes for a general case where, the, where we can vary, vary the grid spacings and time sp steps as desired. And we can obtain the solutions accordingly. Let's go back to the MATLAB program and run this particular problem. So we have alpha given over here as 1 in 1 e minus 4, negative 4, t equals uh, 100 seconds, and the number of time steps nt equals 1. and our x length is one meter and number of segments is five so let's run this case and look at the results so we got temperatures are the node two as uh, 25 degrees celsius node three is um, 0 degrees Celsius, node 4 is 0 degrees Celsius, and node 5 is 25 degrees Celsius, the way we calculated. And it is shown here graphically. So the, on the left hand side of the chart, the top portion, we have the initial conditions. The ends of the bar are maintained at 100 degrees Celsius and the interior portion, interior nodes are maintained at zero degrees Celsius. And the bottom left hand side, the final condition of the bar is shown. Here, the temperatures at the ends are still at 100 degrees Celsius, but there are variations in the temperatures at the interior nodes. At the center portion, the temperatures are about 0 degrees Celsius and in between, the temperatures are about 25 degrees Celsius like we calculated. And the surface plot for this is shown on the right hand side. Let's go back to our MATLAB program and alter the total time from say 100 seconds to 2000 seconds and the number of time steps from 1 to 200 and the number of grid spacings from 5 to 20 and rerun this program so we have to make sure our stability criteria the diffusion number should be within 0.5 which in this case is 0 0.4, so we meet the stability criteria. Let's go back to the graphical results and look at the chart. So the initial conditions are given at the top left-hand side, and the final conditions are given at the bot bottom left-hand side. The surface plot, which is an animation, is shown on the right hand side. Our total time is 2000 two seconds. So we can see the animation till we hit 2000 seconds. This one gives a very nice view of the temperature variations with time. the ends are at 100 degrees Celsius so we maintain the temperatures at 100 degrees Celsius they are not going to vary but the interior temperatures initially they were at 0 degrees Celsius and with time the temperature starts climbing up 
so that's what we're seeing and the temperatures initially were at, at zero now the lowest temperature is about 82 then 84 at 2000 seconds is getting close to 83 as i mentioned before the stability criteria is very important for uh, explicit problems let's go back and change what happens when the stability criteria is not met for example let's make this um, number of segments from 20 to say 40 and read in the program so in this case uh, the stability criteria is not met and then we get results we, we don't get meaningful results so on all explicit methods we have to make sure the stability criteria is met now let's go back to our PowerPoint and summarize what we did today in this video so we presented a 1d transient heat conduction problem we discretized our domain and solved the problem using finite difference method we varied the grid spacings and time steps and presented the results using MATLAB in future we can explore more challenging problems if you have any questions or comments please let me know and thanks for watching.